I'm going to get it with my thumb. We're going to compare this pink to the B8 one. Wow. Okay, so here is the B8 one. And let me see. I think it's this one right here it looks similar to it. So let's see if it can compare, girl. Girl, clock at the house, girl. This pink, which is a top one. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. I finally, finally got my hands on the Sephora Pro Palette. And I'm going to open it up for you. This is the one that I got. Look at that pigmentation, honey. All right, let me go ahead and give this one a swatch, girl. <gasps> It doesn't even swatch. Oh my God. No, I'm just joking, girl. If you've been watching my videos, you know that's like a joke between us. So I finally got this one. I freaking, every time I would go into a Sephora store, I would ask them for this palette and they would always said they're sold out. Oh, we just got one or two. And of course the employees would buy, girl, my opinion. So I was like, you know what? I finally gave up. And I was like, let me just buy it online. So that's what I did. I'm really happy I got it. Now, I feel like the hype for this palette has kind of died down. So I feel like, you know what, it's a proper way to review it. I should have did this review a long time ago, but like I said, it was so hard to get. I'm happy I finally got it. It was a bit on the pricey side, so like 60 almost $70. So it's up there, girl, it's up there. So far, what I like about it is it's heavy, girl. This is a heavy, heavy palette. Good glass, too, like a good mirror, too. You get so many colors on here. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil, girl. Comes with a little mirror there, and these are the colors. It looks kind of similar. This palette was, I think, like $16. I want to say like $11. It wasn't that expensive at all. And I'm going to show you a side-by-side. -side. So you got Take Me Back to Brazil, and this is the Sephora Pro Palette. Now, if you don't know anything about the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, this is part two. Uh, the first one was Take Me to Brazil, and it's just Take Me Back to Brazil. I had Take Me to Brazil, but I gave it to Chloe Knox, girl. I was like, girl, here, you can have it. Because I know I was going to get this one in the mail. And the next and the next day, literally, it came. And it's really nice. Like, But it does feel like rather cheap in the hand. But hey, BH Cosmetics is like really affordable makeup. Okay, and you can see it there. Some of the colors. Now, what I like about it is I don't really feel, in my opinion, it lasts all day. But what I like about it is I can put it on. It doesn't stain the skin. But I'm only in it for a couple of minutes to maybe even a couple hours and I'm done. So I really do like BH Cosmetics. I really do like what they're doing over there. Super affordable. Check them out. Not sponsored. I mean, come on. Hello? So what I want to do in this video is I want to compare some of these colors. Not all of them. Like maybe one or two to some of these colors but i also want to swatch this one and go through all the colors i like but what i don't like is i can't bend this all the way back you know how some palettes you can bend it back let me see if this one does it like this one boom so i can bend it back all right so i'm gonna do it this way i'm gonna grab this white right here and i'm gonna put it right here but oh girl chalky the house chalk girl chalky the house Looks like chalk almost. That's pretty cool for what it is. Okay. All right, so next we got this cream color. Now this is called white gold, okay? And this was called porcelain and this is white gold. So I got some of it there. And I'm gonna show you white gold. It just looks very bland, it looks like an egg girl. So next we have rose quartz and that's what it looks like there. A Little bit of like a pinky tone. I'm gonna put that right there, but honestly, barely even showed up which i think i might kind of like that but there you go just want to i know i'm really rough with my makeup but yeah so far you know it starts on the on the light end we're gonna move our way there really not impressed at this point though funny name this one is called julie t don't know why they call it that and we're gonna put that right there and that is julie t so next color here is gonna be moonstone I'm going to put Moonstone right in here. What is going on with some of these colors, girl? I thought these would be like sickening the house. Okay, before I decide to just throw it, there's this color here. I'm not picking up very well because it has some really shimmers in there. It's called Ice, and we're going to put that right in here. Let me see. And there's ice. You see how it kind of shimmers a little bit? And then this one is called Silver Coin. So I'm grabbing some Silver Coin and we're gonna put that right up in here. And there it is. That one's really nice. You can see it is a lot of silver in there, so it almost looks white. So that was that whole entire front row. And this is what they look like here on the skin. All right. 
All right. Okay, so next we're going to move this way on this way. And this kind of reminds me of anything of Juvia's Planet. Juvia's Planet, girl. That's what it reminds me of. Anything orange. Ooh, girl. Come on, hot Cheeto. Girl, look at that. Tell me that I don't look like a hot Cheeto girl. It does. Okay, so next is going to be a little bit of that reddish kind of color. All right, I'm going to grab some of it there. And then we're going to put it right in here. Boom. Okay. Honestly, that front row, girl. But the second row, looking pretty cute, girl. Then we're going to move on to this one. I'm going to grab some of it there. And we're going to put some of it right in here. Cute, cute, cute. Now, we're going to compare this color, girl. This pink, girl. I'm going to get it with my thumb. We're going to compare this pink to the B8 one. Okay, so here is the BH one. And let me see. I think it's this one right here. It looks similar to it. So let's see if it can compare, girl. Girl, clock at the house, girl. This pink, which is a top one, $60, $70 palette, girl. And you have this one right here. That pink right there. Come on, girl. Clock at the house. I should just end this. I should just drop the mic and end the video right there. I'm telling you, you don't got to spend that much money to get you a sickening palette, girl. Let me go wash my hands, girl, because I got more swatching to do. Okay, and we're back. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one right here. I'm going to swatch it right in there. Beautiful purple. And then we have a darker purple that comes up next. I'm gonna put that right under there. They almost look similar, but of course the Poindexters are gonna say, it's a different formula, girl. And I'm gonna grab that here, that one right there. And we're gonna put that right in here. And you can see that little bit, Ch little chalkiness, girl. Okay, then we're gonna move on over to this row right here, next up. So I'm going to grab this one right here, this beautiful gold tone. This is called Champion. Put that right underneath that one. That is Champion. Doesn't really show up well on camera. In person, it kind of looks like a, like a very faint gold with shimmer. So that's what that looks like. All right, and then we have this beautiful green right here. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna put that right in here. Very electrifying green. I mean, that came out pretty good. Okay, then I'm gonna get this beautiful blue. I actually really like this one. I have hopes for this one. And boom, come on. All right, and then we have a beautiful green. I'm gonna grab some of that, and I'll put that one right in here. So there you go. Very faint, girl, but I like it. We can work with that. And you have this beautiful, I think, kind of navy color. And so now the palette is working its way over to the blues, if you notice that. Okay, and we got this one next. And I'm going to put that one right here. Whoa. Check that out. Ooh. I'm not mad at this palette. I really do enjoy it so far. All right, and then final, we have this one right here. So you can see how it shows up there. So I'm going to put this right here. So you can see all the blues and all the colors there. I was really impressed by these swatches. I mean, come on. Okay, so next we got this bottom row here. Pink, okay, so we're gonna start with pink quartz. I'm just gonna grab this. It doesn't feel very smooth. Pink quartz feels very bumpy in the hand. And there you go, rubbing it in. That's a beautiful color. I could definitely see people using that right in the inner corner of the eye. I do like that a lot. Okay, and then we got Wendy G. Some of these some of these names are just kind of like, girl, where, where does Sephora come up with these names, girl? Boom, in your face. Come on, Rihanna. Look at that gold. Ooh, come on. And then we have a color named Lou, and we're gonna put that right there. This color actually reminds me of a guy named Lou, actually. Little shimmer there. So this whole entire bottom row seems like it's just very shimmery. Okay, and then we have this one, which is Caroline. You remember that movie of that lady? And they were like, come to the light, Caroline. Come to the light. Can't hear you. That's what that is there. Okay, so next is going to be this one right here. This is called Hector E. So Hector E 
Girl, that sounds like a boy I went to high school with, girl. Hector E. Like, like I would understand the palette, like the, the actual pop name to be Hector. But to be so specific and put Hector E. I kind of feel like somebody who designed this palette... As a four, I was like, ooh, that's my, that's my ex. That's that girl I didn't like in school. And they just start naming people's names, girl. So that was Hector E. Okay, and then we have David right here. And we're going to put David right in here. You can see that. Looks very similar. Okay, and we have this little gold color here. And I'm going to put that right in here. So you can see that. You can see the difference between the golds there too. Okay, and last we have black. And I'm just gonna put this right here down the middle. So that is your black there. So these are just some of my swatches, girl. Kim Kardashian wishes she could swatch like me. But she never can. So here's the mess I made, and that was basically the palette right there. I did like it for what it was, but I feel like it's not something that I would recommend you buying for the average consumer because I feel like you can get these colors individually somewhere else and probably be a little bit better and a little bit cheaper. But if you're a professional, I would definitely recommend this palette because it just kind of shows that you're about your business and you really care about your clients. So it's one of those palettes that I would definitely bring around like makeup gigs and clients, but for like personal use, you already know there's other stuff you can cheaper you can get, you know what I'm saying? But please let me know in the comments down below what you think about these colors. Would you buy the palette? Would you not buy the palette? What do you think about it? And I just really want to know what you feel about it. So yeah, let me know about that. But as always, girl, thank you for watching my busted ass videos. I hope you love them so much. So smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like the video, share it. Don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. All right, next video, peace.